Today I am going to teach you how to raise seedlings. First of all, we need to prepare vegetable seeds, now I am holding lettuce seeds. Secondly, you need to prepare a seedling tray and a cup of warm water about 55 degrees. As for the temperature of the water, you can put your hand in it and feel slightly warm. Next we need to remove the seeds and place them inside warm water, or you can stir the water so that the seeds can be heated more evenly. After stirring, you can fully soak the seeds for 4 to 6 hours. If it is in winter, you can soak the seeds for 10 to 12 hours. If it is in the summer, when the temperature is warmer, soaking for 4 to 6 hours will be sufficient. In the next step, we need to prepare one of these kitchen wipes, lay it on the top of the seedling tray, then pour out the water in which the seeds were soaked, after which the seeds are spread evenly on the wipes and covered in this way. After covering, you can put the seeds in a dark place to avoid light, or cover them with another seedling tray. Wait about 2-3 to three days in this way, and when the seeds show white shoots, they can be put into sponges for sowing. Today is day 2, so let's see how the seeds are doing. Care needs to be taken to keep the paper towel moist during this process. We can see that a few of the seeds are already showing small white buds, after which we cover it like this, and this. Continue to spray water once or twice a day, if this paper towel is still relatively moist state, you can also not spray water. Because this kitchen towel water retention function is better, about once a day to spray water can be. Then you can let the seeds continue to avoid light. Today is day 3, and we can see the state of the seeds. Our paper towel is always as kept moist during the germination process. We can see that most of the seeds have shown white buds, like this, it is ready for sowing. Next we prepare the seedling sponge and place it on the edge of the seedling tray. We need to wet the seedling sponge well with water, so that the sponge can fully absorb the water. In this process, you can properly press the sponge, so that the water in the sponge is absorbed more evenly. When pressed to this state, and a little bit of water storage, such a state is ready. Now it is time to start sowing the seeds. This time you need to place the small white shoots of the vegetable seedlings face down into the grooves of the sponge. One or two small shoots can be placed in one sponge. After you have placed all the seeds, you can take a small sprinkler and water it to keep the little sprouts moist. After watering, cover them with this plate and keep them out of the light. Today is the third day of putting the seeds into the sponge, and lo, and behold, they have germinated. After germinating, to such an extent, there is no need for light sheltering and the vegetable seedlings can see some weak light. Then still spray the vegetable seedlings with water every day to keep the sponge moist. If you have a microgreen system, you can put the vegetable seedlings on it and turn on the light to supplement the light for the vegetable seedlings, so that the seedlings will grow faster. If there is no microgreen system, you can also put it on the balcony where there is light. During the growth of the seedlings, you need to spray water 3 to 4 times a day to keep the sponge moist. As for light, make sure you have 12 to 14 hours of light per day. When it comes time to mix the nutrient solution, you will need to start by preparing a measuring cup of water, either tap water or filtered water can be used. However, filtered water is preferred. At this time, you can mix the appropriate proportion of nutrient solution, so that the nutrient solution and water can be fully mixed. Just now I added the A nutrient solution, now add the B nutrient solution. Next, let's prepare an EC pen to measure the EC value, which is now around 1200 US, which is okay. In the seedling stage, the EC concentration is more appropriate at 1200 to 1400 S. Now we prepare this white mesh tray and hold the seedling up with our hands, you can now see that the seedling has taken root. We place the seedling on top of the white mesh tray. After that, we can take the prepared nutrient solution and pour it into the seedling tray, and the amount of water poured into it needs to be submerged in the white mesh tray. This will allow the root system of the vegetable seedlings to fully absorb the nutrient solution. We need to spray the vegetable seedlings daily, and also keep an eye on the water level underneath. If the water underneath doesn't flood the sponge, 
You need to add the mix of nutrient solution water and time. If you want the seedlings to grow bigger, you can pull out the extra seedlings in the sponge and leave only one seedling in the sponge. Now that I have pulled out the extra seedlings, there is only one seedling in each sponge. You can do this earlier, 5 to 7 days after the seeds have been placed in the sponge. Now our vegetable seedlings have been cultivated for 12 days. You can see that the roots of the vegetable seedlings have grown very long. Usually in about 10 days, when the seedlings grow to 3 leaves and 1 heart, they can be transplanted. When transplanting, we need to prepare a large glass of water and put the colonizing sponge in the water. Next, you can squeeze it fully so that the colonizing sponge can fully absorb the water. Look, if the sponge you take out is pressed and filled with water, then it will be in this state. Now I have prepared planting basket and planting sponge filled with water. At this point we can tear apart the sponge piece by piece, then wrap the seedlings with planting sponge, fix them, and put them into the planting basket. During the operation, you can put the vegetable seedlings into the planting basket with the root whiskers facing downwards, or you can select the well-grown vegetable seedlings for transplanting, so that the vegetables will have a smoother growing process. After all is done, we can put the planting basket inside the planting hole of the tower system. You can set the light and pump time on the screen of the tower system, and then just wait for the vegetables to grow.